Governor Ifanyi Okoa, living in the River Rhine, is not a dead sentence. For a very long time, the oil-bearing communities in Nigeria have had to leave as the goose that lays the golden egg but hardly had a taste of it. This situation has stirred up lots of agitations, both peaceful and violent ones. Over the years, the people asked for a part of the pie, but the supply, however, remained a challenge. But in Delta State, Governor Ato Ifai Okowa, having maintained the long-standing contact and relationship with residents of oil-bearing communities, obviously understood the challenges confronting the region and so he moved away from talk shots to walking the talk. He knew that lack of development was at the center of their agitations and in the last five years he has beamed his administration's satellites on the developmental needs of the creek dwellers. This move has brought about a paradigm shift in the areas of road construction, functional health care centers, habitable estates, revamped educational institutions, and of course, improved security, which in turn has engendered a harmonious living in the region. And that is the new story of our creeks, which we will bring to you in this edition of Smart Delta. Come with us as we take you to the creeks proper. Are we good to go? Thank you. Situated at latitude 5.35 degrees north, longitude 5.51 degrees east, and one meter elevation above the sea level, Burutu is a small city in Burutu local government area of Delta State, having about 16,410 inhabitants. Our trip to the community was a spectacular one. Burutu community, popularly known and referred to as the Island of No Regret, lies on the coast of the Niger Delta. Upon our arrival, we met with the leadership of the community, who did not hesitate to take us on a tour around the community, whilst identifying projects executed by the Okoa led administration. Most notable amongst many other projects is the construction of their internal roads linking many streets within the community. Smart Delta. Consequent upon this development, the people are now able to move around the community with ease. Residents, businessmen and women did not hesitate to express their heartfelt gratitude to the governor as they recount the many ways these executed projects have been of great benefit to them. The completion of this road now creates easy access for us in the community. At least if you dropped from the jetty in Burutuna, you can walk down to your house without sand touching your leg. So that one is clear and tangible project done by our Excellency, Senator Dr. Ifan Koa. I must commend His Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifan Koa for the construction of road in Kutu Township. It has done well in terms of road construction and at least the road has been able to assess most of our institutions here. Like this Okada one I get nine the push three years. Before we road never day five months it don't spoil now so they do the good mechanic but now we they don't do the road so now they go mechanic like that to enjoy the road. I'm very very satisfied with the intracity road that he gave to us. I think we should applaud the governor on that. The good road network isn't the only thing the people of Burutu community are grateful for. A host of other projects ranging from the upgrade of the Burutu Grammar School to a model school with state-of-the-art facilities enabling both children from the community and nearby villages access to quality education without having to travel all the way to Wari. The ongoing construction of a modern market which is near completion alongside the construction of a concrete landing jetty to complement the markets has added more value to their lives. His Excellency is not only 
the road master he is an infrastructural master as well because if you look at um, the things that he has done he has put smile on the faces of the people of Brutu the jetty today is something that will create an enabling access to the people and to assess the modern uh, market there. So I want to say His Excellency has done very well. Okoa has brought so many developments to Brutu community, of which as an APC member I'm benefiting in Brutu community. For the past uh, 20 years, we have never set our eyes on the road like this before. Even uh, the modern market at uh, Okorodudu ending, it also came at uh, Okoa administration. It all transformed so many people live for this place. Just like in the Borutu community, the Okawa-led administration's transformative touch is also being felt by the great people of Okrenkoko. As in other riverine communities, movement within and about Okrenkoko is the least of the people's worry with the complete construction of their internal roads, a landing jetty and a beautiful walkway. Residents of this community couldn't be happier, not only on account of good roads, but also with the provision of portable housing units. Governor Koa is a person I can go as a whole love. For the things you have done in this community, everybody appreciates. Mostly the road, the renovation of the secondary school, the maritime university take-off point that he have renovated and uh, still have some uh, as in the states that he have built for the staffs of the university. For his government, we appreciate things that he done in this town. The housing estate is one of the good things we achieved for this government. It's not easy for you to develop a community in the riverine area. We appreciate the governor for doing this for the people of this community. Oko has done many things on top of the road. But you know that star, he say what? He's a road master list. A road master list is different from someone that's, that's a what? A road agenda. If you follow this road like you bear like this, it leads to heaven. But you branch like first marine gate, heaven marine gate. But this road that he, he, he has done a what? A perfect job. He's a home in the road. Is. He's truly a leader. So I have nothing to say much because what? We both say what? Well, someone that has done much well, deserve an appreciation. Hello. Also, dear to the heart of the people is the complete renovation of the Okrenkoko Cottage Hospital and the provision of necessary medicaments and equipment. Speaking with Mrs. Aniebo Clara, the assistant matron, she stated that the provision of the necessary equipment, including a power generating set, has made all the difference in terms of improving and delivering quality health care to the people of Okrenkoko and its environs. This facility here yeah, has been of a great help to this community because before we come in here, they will be making use of herbal medicines, or which is at the detriment of their health. Governor Okowa. He came and renovated the hospital, even the staff quarters, so that we can have somewhere to stay. Excited about what we have seen and heard, the Smart Delta Media team couldn't help but want to know more. This quest further landed us at Ogula community. Though a fishing community, far down in the heart of the Niger Delta River, it was quite surprising to see how vibrant the community looked, beaming with lots of economic and leisure activities just like in the urban centers. It was indeed a breath of fresh air. After a brief tour, Smart Delta media team can authoritatively report that just like their counterparts, they too have felt the transformative spree of the Okawa-led administration. The construction of Yobebe, Benebiyama Road, Sokobolo, Obotobo 1 and 2 roads respectively, in addition to the constant power supply and a host of other amenities they enjoy has made life easy for all, especially the fishing populace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's our community, we get different, different villages. And the village is road day, light day, we get store our fish. Anytime you come, you go see fish by. Odimodio, they come with bike, they go buy fish. Once a day, you bebel, some they come, 
Some they follow speed goods, some they follow land. The business is they good for us where we many of the road places that they link the car with the feed they drive or car that they pass, they do our business there. If they help us, we get like constant. We thank government for that one. To be painfully honest with ourselves, there are things we are enjoying here, even in this river area, that people in the urban area does not enjoy. We thank Governor Okoa, not because he's the governor of the state and because we perceive more of him. Despite the fact that he's there in Asaba, we feel his closeness more than any governor. During our tour of the community, Smart Delta Media team came across Mr. God Gifts Kolazi, an indigenous of Ogula, and a fisherman mending his net. We exchanged pleasantries and he showed us how he prepares his net before launching for a catch. He let us try our hands on the untangling process and it was indeed a worthy experience. Government of Kua, he really tried for us to have water, to have root. Thank you, Government of Kua. He tried. Just like exchange of baton in a relay race, the story of development is not short-lived in other river and communities like in Wari North local government area. Indigenous of Opuama in Egbema Kingdom in Wari North are still basking in the euphoria of their recently commissioned cottage hospital, totally revamped and fully equipped with state-of-the-art facilities to meet the health challenges of the people. It's a wonderful um, cottage hospital in all the various departments right from the intensive care to dental care to eye care, everything we've seen there, maternal care, has been of global standard. We expect that the standard will be maintained and accessible to the community, just like we want it to be affordable to the end users. I'm overwhelmed indeed, because having this year in Opuama, women who are pregnant, they can come for Atinenta. They will tell them how they can take care of their babies, what to eat and everything before they give birth. I just thank the Delta State Government for doing this in our community. This is just a surprise. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I can see that this place is a standard hospital. That's my dreaming of becoming a daughter. I can come here and learn what I will become in future. I'm really happy for this project. It's like a dream. All this we have been seeing in the televisions, newspapers, now. It has come to reality in our own town. We can see them with our eyes. In the same vein, twin communities, Ogbogoro, Utonila, certainly also have a reason to smile as a result of the presence of infrastructures like a concrete landing jetty with 100 meter walkway, a decent school building with the provision of learning materials, portable water supply scheme with treatment, town hall, a cottage hospital, habitable estate, constant power supply, and pedestrian bridge to link both communities. Just like the icing on a cake, a combination of all these have made living in this region much more enjoyable. I don't believe say, this guy place go feed day for riverside. Since when I call this place, lights not the off. What are they? The house is very fine. Everything correct for inside. That, that one, one will go and do for we they happy. For me alone, I they happy for inside because we they enjoy the house. Before now, I stay in the city. But because of this development here, at least I moved down here. It's very comfortable. Also, people are moving from city to the village, which they don't normally do before. Many things they don't enjoy in the city, they are enjoying it here. Subsequently, citizens of Ogeye Dimigo, still in Wari North, are not left out of Governor Fanyakawa's euphoria of good deeds. They rejoice over the ongoing construction of the first floating market cited in their domain. They claim that this project, upon completion, will turn around their economic fortunes. It's with us where we're because God remember this land of Ogoyi through our amiable governor Okowa. We be happy. We are grateful to God and we are grateful to the government of Delta State. More development will come because of this very project. Because now very big market they do so. God go bless Okowa. This is a market that uh, actually been in existence for a very. You know this the poor. <laughs> hey, hey. 
the Okawa led administration has equally recorded major milestones in Naifo Island, Ajuju, Enyebo Bene, and Baramatu communities, respectively. As in other communities, the people also have to their credit concrete landing jetties, concrete overhead footbridge, and the provision of learning tools, amongst others. All these have not only provided relief, but have rekindled renewed hope of better and brighter days ahead. We are very happy about it. Happy to the governor, governor of the Delta State, and uh, everybody that uh, are involved in bringing this uh, project work to Polubo community. Now, we are thinking that we are in Township. We no longer think that we are in Polubo community again. <laughs> First suffering we are suffering before, as far as Okua did this jetty to us, we are not suffering again. Well, it was bad, but we are managing it for bit. Now the government has provided this one for us and it was okay. We appreciate the jetty and we are thankful to Governor Kowa. As far as I come to the jetty now, with the help, we entered boat, cross go this worry, come back. God bless. Smart Delta. Okay, uh, shift and go this side, shift and. Eh, no, be tare be that. Tare? Tare! Hey, Bernard, my guy. Happy to see you. Normally now, only year ending. Now you they come home. What will happen when you come Bernard, home now? Bernard, I vision the area. Now say make I enter huh? now. Vision? <laughs> Tare is not a prophet. You don't need a prophet to tell you. With the way this Okoa administration is developing the riverine communities in less time than expected, our economy will blue blue zoo zoo. Hey! Blue 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 zoo! What did that one mean? <laughs> you know the dictionary, Rabbi O. It means say the economy of our riverine communities go blue zoo. Before Tare, when they for city, don't hear the better things. When Governor Okoa, they do for riverine communities. Ah, sure. I am very much aware uh, Governor Kowa don't do roads for Burutu or Kere Koko, even for Ogola, are uh, over 19.5 kilometers. But it's our riverine communities. Don't build schools, water project completed. Tare, no? Governor Kowa, they do wonderful projects for Oyakoromo. Now, Bridjo. Yes, so, now Bridjo, and it's wonderful because this Oyakoromo bridge go link many riverine communities Burutu, Ogulaha, even pass through Fakado, all the way to communities where they for Hugel is out and it go bring economic development for our riverine communities I'm investing in this riverine communities because I see a very bright future I mean, blue 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 zone <laughs> blue zone Smart Delta the overall effect of all the development interventions of the okoa led administration in the creeks is that there is now a bubbling nightlife. Our recent visit to Burutu and Ogula left Smart Delta team in awe as we witnessed the beaming activities that greets after dark of these communities. What you just saw is a clean up of the day's productive activities. Much of these activities, according to the people, largely rest on Governor Kowa's intervention in their communities. You would agree with that this is quite an exciting way to unwind. Indigents of both communities attest to the fact that much of what they enjoy is ascribed to the intervention of Governor Ifanyo Kowa. Is this road, the lights, is the best thing I've done to Brutu local government first in history. Okowa, he has done what we want. We are having government present in this our kingdom. I enjoy 100% peace in this community. This community is okay. While the likes of Thank God Rebecca, Ojobosu Ibifemene, dance to draw attention to the positive effects of the many life-touching projects executed by Governor Fanyokoa. Sunday Emmanuel, a young upcoming rapper, had a mini musical display to express his gratitude. Indeed, the Okoa-led administration has shone brightly like a thousand stars for the good people of the Creeks. <laughs> Oh, 
Okowa, you too much. Power there. Okowa, I say you too much. Power there. Okowa, I say you too much. Power there. I say you too much. Power there. Yeah, man, they make call upon you, see. You know, it's easy for you to you appear every day. Every no come and let this matter. I'm not kissing this celebrate. Every day, I enjoy it. But you go see, you go late. See, oh, so good. Besides improving their night lives, the massive infrastructural drive that the Okawa led administration has brought to bear in these coastal regions have gone a long way to also improve the aesthetics of the region, changing the narrative of hitherto deplorable, inhabitable riverine into a site that is now worth to behold. In spite of the challenges of the terrain, the government has been able to also make sure that they have a fair share of fair development because they are part of Delta State. The governor has also made sure that things that will actually help boost the economy, the, the standard of living and the other things that will also attract people to go and, you know, have some sort of uh, interaction at that end of the state is done. That Governor Ifanyo Kowa can achieve these celebrated infrastructural developments in the space of five and a half years are laid on the foundation of good communication rapport that exists between the government and the people through town hall meetings and other fora where the people air their views unhindered or coerced. The people during the town hall meetings made requests, especially in the Rivaran area. And those requests today, most of them are be attended to. If you go to the Rivaran area, look at their hospital, look at their schools, look at their roads. You know, it's actually difficult to develop those areas. But the governor, being somebody that is very focused, he was able to achieve all that. And the people are happy. The best approach to governance is the bottom-up approach. And that is what the governor has done by adopting the town hall approach. And you can see that the effect of that approach has made governance to be about the people. No government in the history of the Delta State has touched rural communities like the Dr. Ifai Okowa government has done over the past five years plus. Furthermore, the desire of the Okawa led administration to provide comfort to the creek dwellers has motivated his government to donate boats to several communities to help them commute to and from the Atlantic Ocean. We are happy where we For the things we Okawa bring us, we accept them. So we show people now river walk now they do. Uh, bring engine, bring boats. All of them are Okoa. In fact, Nami will gain a pass. So I'm happy where we're for the good, good thing where Okoa they bring for we. Not done, his administration was further propelled to embark on the construction of bridges cutting across many of the riverine communities in the state. One of such is the ongoing Ayakromo Bridge project. This project, upon completion, would open up the floodgates of socio-economic development for the creek dwellers. When you talk about bridge, bridge is life, road is life. So if this job is completed, life will be meaningful. At least it can link us to other communities as well. We really, really appreciate the governor for what he has been doing. If this bridge get to the other side, the other communities around here, Bomondi, Brutu, Ugele, all will be connected and it will have economic importance to the states. It is therefore without prejudice to note that Governor Ifanyo Kowa, mindful and driven by his deep sense of equity, fairness and justice, ensured that projects as seen in the upland are equally replicated in the riverine communities. This, without any reasonable doubt, has gone a long way to calm the frayed nerves of indigenous of the great people of the Riverine, whilst creating a sense of belonging, thereby promoting peace within the region. The people are beginning to see the essence of government, and we now have minimal agitation because they now feel that the impact of government is coming. And when we now talk about partnership, we talk about peace and that with peace you can have development. They're beginning to hear us. Smart Delta.
Where I am standing now is the heart of Ogulaha Kingdom at night. It is a riverine community deep into the heart of the Atlantic Ocean. The transformation of this community and all the riverine communities in infrastructure and economy, improving Ifunja nightlife has got rest of Nokowa's favorite quote that living in the river Rhine is not a death sentence, as he calls on Deltans to join him build a stronger Delta, counting down to 2023. The feedback segment. Question of the day. What is the Zopadek doing to empower the youth in the oil bearing community? Uh, we are coming up with uh, a novel idea. The, the Zopadek Skill Academy is going to be running in two streams per year every six months. Six months of intensive training to uh, reach out to our youths and women and get them empowered. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 081211921233 or send with a hashtag accent to all of our social media platforms. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do. I see a job and work creation in Delta, make the youth set them higher. Okowa! I see good roads everywhere in Delta, make the people set them cola. Come live in Delta. Come invest in 